What specific sites should you sample when you are looking for salmonella? First, we need to know this pathogen, so let's go over some general facts about salmonella. Salmonella is a foodborne pathogen that has been implicated in many outbreaks ranging from raw turkey to cereal. There are over 2,600 serovars that vary in host range and virulence. Salmonella likes wet environments, but is also capable of surviving for long periods in very dry environments. Now, let's take a look at some history of salmonella outbreaks. Most salmonella outbreaks have been linked to contamination of food from infected animals or food workers. Salmonella has also been proven to persist in preparation and food processing facilities for long periods of time. For example, outbreaks have been traced back to environmental sources in bakeries and other dry environments several months after they have occurred, as well as retail delis and similar establishments. Salmonella has persisted in hard-to-clean areas of deli slicers that need to be taken apart to be cleaned. Now, let's talk about salmonella in food facilities and retail establishments. While people can be a source of salmonella contamination, the focus of this video is on environmental contamination and environmental sources. The tools needed for salmonella sampling vary when you investigate dry environments such as bakeries. In addition to sponges and swabs, it may be useful to bring tools to sample dry residues, for example, sterile spatulas and scoops. Sponges may not be the best tools for dry environments, as food facilities tend to avoid the introduction of moisture that could facilitate bacterial growth. So where should you sample? Some ideal places to swab for salmonella include drains, deli slicers, disassembly is required to reach the hard to clean areas where salmonella may grow, cutting boards, tables under cutting boards and slicers, including the legs, blenders or mixers, hand mixers or whisks, knife racks, exterior of equipment and grills, carts and wheels of carts. Besides our suggestions, when selecting sampling sites for salmonella, remember that salmonella outbreaks have been linked to a wide variety of products from raw turkey to cereal. Salmonella can survive in bakeries and other dry environments, as well as in retail delis and similar establishments. It persists on hard to clean areas of equipment. Look for the layout of the facility and if there are any areas where tracking of salmonella is an issue. Don't sample raw poultry or surfaces, but non-raw surfaces close to the raw meat traffic. For example, a hard to clean floor wall juncture or doorknob between the deli area and the rotisserie chicken area. This is an investigation and not an inspection. So although you want to keep an eye out for issues, remain focused on sites that could have contributed to the outbreak on hand. And use your best judgment based on knowledge outlined in this and previous videos to find areas where salmonella can survive over time. You are now prepared to select appropriate sampling sites during salmonella investigations.